Hi everyone, this is Debbie from Project 39 Mini Albums. I am doing the January of 2021 Crafty Goal follow-up. So I set my goals in the beginning of the year and I'm using a bullet journal to try to track my progress. I love setting goals for my crafting. I don't know if I'll do videos every month and tell you, but I at least wanted to show you how this process was working for me and it might be something that you're interested in. Um, like the number one goals, well here are my goals. I want to make sure that I use my stash. I don't know about you, but I have lots of paper in my collection and I want to use it all up so I can get new paper in my collection. I also have an Etsy shop and a website and you know it helps it helps feed this so um the more i can make here the more i can buy here uh you know and it is sort of a side hustle so i do want to make sure that i have goals for my business and i also want to have my social media goals so i mean i went over it in detail but you know it's all about using your stash it's all about beating last year and um it's all about sticking to my timelines and the way that I was doing that is just keeping track of everything. So here's my goal tracker. I wanted to make sure I used all of the paper pads in my collection, my stash. So I used a lot last year. I can't tell you how many because I wasn't keeping track like this. 25, 30 paper pads maybe. I mean I really went through a bunch uh, because I make mini albums and I put them on my website. But they're starting to get dated. You know, I have some old k and Company paper pads that I love. But if I don't use them and they sit in the closet, I mean, what good is that going to do for anyone? Um, so what I'm going to do is each month I'm going to check off what I was able to completely use. Uh, I did use four paper pads last month. Um, I used not paper pads, but I had partial paper pads and... I I used them up, but it wasn't a true paper pad, so I didn't put it down. And ephemera, I used a lot of ephemera, and I'm I'm including that in buttons and brads and all that. Um, but I completely used and threw out the empty of washi tape, so that was what that was for. Um, I want to make 15 mini albums a month because the more I make, the more I'll sell, obviously and cards. They are also listed on my Etsy site and my website. And I want to make sure that I generate more traffic than I did last year. So those really are my primary goals. This is to help keep track of collabs that I'm in. And now I am a design team member for Country Craft Creation, which is a great online scrapbooking store. You guys have to check it out. But that's sort of throwing, not a wrench into my works, but now I have to account for that and I'm not sure that I'll be able to do all of this because of that but we'll see I'm just gonna keep going so that is my annual goal is on this page you know that that's what I want to do overall on a monthly basis I am putting what I want to do for my stash how I want to beat last year and my social media goals so I'm subdividing it down and then I'm further subdividing it down by the week um, and putting, okay, so I know I needed to uh, make some mini albums to put on Etsy. So now I need to take photos and list them on Etsy. You know, I'm just subdividing it into little accomplishable steps so then I can continue working on all of my goals. Um, I enjoyed this setup and I'll probably stick with that. Uh, this was part of using my washi tape and I can't tell you that I loved how that looked. I mean, it's okay there. Um, but when you're looking at February with the heart washi tape, to me, it looks a little busy and I like things a little more simple than that. So I'm probably not going to use the washi tape anymore, but, uh, I will use that all through um 
February because I've already put it in for the month. But anyhow, it's fun. It's it's colorful. Uh, so that is how I am doing on my goals. I, I'm happy to say that I accomplished most of what I wanted to do. February might be a different story. I haven't really completed any mini albums. No, that's not true. I haven't complete. I haven't used my stash. What do you do when, let's say, I have twelve mini, twelve paper pads that I want to use through twenty twenty one, and then I get another one? Do I add that onto that? And now add instead of twelve. Now I need to use up thirteen paper pads, or am I just happy that I've used up twelve? I mean, I know that twelve paper pads is a lot. Um, but I mean, let's say it's ephemera. Well, those are all the pieces of ephemera that I want to use for 2021. I want to open the packages, use it all up. So suppose I get more. Do I add it to here? And now I have to, you know, you know what I'm saying. Anyhow, that is what I have done for January. Now, February is the same. I still want to use 12 by 12 paper pads, small paper pads, and collection kits. I still want to do 25% over last year. List more books, list more cards. Stick to my collab timelines. Post regularly and engage frequently. They're all very doable goals. Um, and the fact that it's written down, it makes it a little easier for me to keep track of it and have more of a uh, targeted method of doing stuff instead of just going into the craft room and looking at my paper and trying to figure out well, what do I really need to do today. So anyhow, that's why I do that. Hope you'll follow along with me. If you use a bullet journal, let me know how you use it. I don't know that I like drawing all these lines all the time. I mean, that's the whole point of a bullet journal, and I guess I would use a pre-made um, planner, but they're all so busy. I say that, and then look at this. Look at how busy I've made this. But anyhow, um, if you use a bullet journal and track your crafty goals, send me a picture. Go to my Instagram um, and shoot me a, a picture, Project 39 Design, and let me know how you're doing with that. That's what I have for you today. Thanks so much for watching. Have a fabulous day.